Welcome back, Wolfpack. Verlus here, and now we have a battle with Mike for our 275th Fan Fridays. This series is still going strong. Many people showing off many different kinds of Pokemon, and now we're going to see what Latios can do versus a Slowbro, most likely Mega. That's actually pretty scary to think about. A Cresselia and a Heatran, so just a super tanky team meant to try to handle as much as possible. So Slowbro does not want to stay in against the Latios. And now we're going to see Cresselia instead. Latios, Mega Latios. We, don't, we haven't seen a Mega Latios yet. All right, let's see what it can do. Now, I'm not expecting much against the Cresselia because Cresselia is such a tanky beast. So Latios is going to go with that Dragon Pulse, and that's going to be not a lot of damage onto the Cresselia. Like, didn't break half, so it's not going to be a two-hit KO. Three-hit KO is not something you want to be dealing with. So Shiftry comes in, and wow, Cresselia going for that Moonblast. Crazy right there, but that's going to do super effective damage to the shift tree. Another Moonblast. Is that, is that Scarf Cresselia? Like, that's the only thing I could imagine it's going to be. And that's a super effective hit right there. So, wow, just the two-shot from that Cresselia with the Moonblast on the shift tree. It was looking like shift tree was actually going to get some work done. Because this team seems like it's weak against Fairy, but the opponent's team is pretty weak against Dark. So, that Blaziken with the Shadow Claw. And it pays off. That's a huge hit on the Slowbro. We get the crit from that Shadow Shadow Claw. Blaziken actually switches out. I would have gone for the back-to-back -back, back -back Shadow Claw, but it looks like Latios wants to get set up. So it is going to be a Mega Slowbro versus the Mega Latios. And Slowbro ended up taking... Well, actually, maybe after, actually after that Mega Evolution, probably wouldn't have gotten knocked out. But there's going to be the Slack Off. So... It's just Blaziken and Latios versus pretty much the entire Pokemon's team. Going to withdraw that, that uh, Slowbro and go into Heatran. I was about to say, Heatran's a safe place since your Cresselia is just going to get two shot. So Dragon Pulse onto the Heatran. That's not going to be too crazy. Yeah, maybe just a little less than a quarter health and the Leftovers is going to come in and just be brutal on that healing. So Latios is carrying Surf. The unusual movesets paying off. Surf doing huge damage to Heatran. Latios is going to get toxic for it. But, I mean, we're, the way we can break this down is, you know, Latios is going to be able to do some good damage to the rest of the opponent's team. And Slowbro just doesn't want to stick in against Latios for some reason. So we're, we'll find that reason out. But, overall, uh, Blaziken with that Shadow Claw can actually clean up pretty well. Ooh, the Toxic Stall is going to be pretty real. But the Surf Latios actually getting work done. So, not bad. And Heatran just going to heal a bit more with the leftovers, just going to try to stall out to some Toxic Burn, get some health back. And really, it can... I, I'm trying to figure out how this battle can go. So, that's going to be a switch out into... I don't... I can't tell the name. So, that's going to be Slowbro right there. And Latios going for that Surf. So, it's not going to be crazy damage. Slowbro, pretty tanky, not very effective hit. Just going to be pretty solid on that. And now, this is where that team... This is that tankiness. I guess the idea is to get Heatran out. Go for that slow burn. Dragon Pulse from the Latios on the Slowbro. That's just going to knock it out. Wow. That was a big hit right there. Now I can see why Slowbro didn't want to stay in. I guess it's full defensive investment. Because it just went and ruined that thing's day. And now it's going to be Cresselia versus the Latios. Latios switches out. I don't know if that's going to be something good. Because remember, we know that... Well, actually, the Moonblast against Blaziken is going to be a neutral hit. So that's actually going to be pretty fine. And Blaziken, going to not take too much damage. It's special attack falls, which doesn't matter to Blaziken. Ice Beam from the Cresselia. Maybe trying to predict... I don't know what could have gone on there, but that's going to be a Shadow Claw from the Blaziken. Shadow Claw making a good hit. It's going to be a two-hit KO against uh, the Cresselia. And that's going to be Psychic onto Blaziken. So Blaziken is going to go down to this, but we can see that you know Dragon Pulse into Surf is going to pick up this game. And that's actually pretty, pretty crazy. So Latios going to Dragon Pulse and take out the Cresselia just like that. I mean, if you switch into Heatran, Heatran could kind of Toxic Stall with that Protect. But overall, it looks like it's just going to be really good for Latios right now. That Surf, it doesn't matter. Unless like Heatran gets like a triple Protect, Latios is going to pull through with the Surf. And that's pretty, pretty real. So that's going to just be first turn protect. Going to go for that. Surf is going to come through. Toxic is going to stall. Leftovers. I don't think there's like enough leftovers healing for Heatran right now to get through that Surf. 
it it did a solid amount of damage. So there's the poison damage. That's going to be Latios using Surf. And that is going to be GG. So that was pretty crazy. I'm, I'm trying to, like, the, the Surf Latios... I, I don't think you see that too often, but it is very strong. And then the Shadow Claw and Blaziken actually worked out really well against that team. Now, while it didn't necessarily score KOs, it really chipped in some good damage into the Cresselia and the Slowbro. So that's something you don't see, and it worked. I wanted to know what Shiftry was up to, but he just got Moonblasted out of there, and that was actually just ridiculous. So, hope you guys enjoyed the first battle on Fan Fridays, and I hope to see you guys in the next Fan Fridays coming up in just a bit.